a brand new stainless steel Desert Eagle. Mm, it doesn't get much better than that. Now I just gotta grab some ammo real quick. Hey! Get back here! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hey, hey, let's talk about this. Let's not do anything crazy. Don't drop it in the bucket. No! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Oh my gosh, where is it? What is that, an orange? What is, where is it? Oh my gosh, where? No! No! no. What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics and I'm super excited about today's video because today we're gonna do something I've never seen done before. I've seen a lot of torture tests on Glocks, AKs, ARs, but I've never seen anyone torture test a Desert Eagle. So this is a Magnum Research Desert Eagle chambered in 50 AE. It's stainless steel, it is absolutely beautiful. These things are not cheap and I believe that's why you haven't seen anyone torture test a desert eagle before because who would do that to their desert eagle well i would do that to my desert eagle so today we're going to take this thing we're going to put it through some standard torture tests you know like water dirt stuff like that nothing too serious and just see how it holds up before we get started i want to show you that the gun functions normally so we're loaded up with five rounds of 50 ae 300 grain full metal jackets made by crafted ballistics Works all right. So I got two rounds in the mag. We do not have a round in the chamber. And now we're gonna put it in the water. And I gotta tell you, this is gonna hurt. I, I don't wanna do this. All right, here we go. Oh, oh no. I can't believe I just put that Desert Eagle in this tub of water. Oh, mm, it hurts. Okay. All right, we shook all the water out of it. Let's see if it works. <laughs> I really didn't think water was gonna do much to it. All right, well, next test. Okay, I got something a little bit different for this next test. We have snow, check this out. <laughs> so I got this from a snow cone shop. They saw a whole tub of that for like 11 bucks. So we're gonna see how the Desert Eagle holds up against some snow. Whoops. Dump a little bit in there. You know what? Pull the, pull the bag out. Dump that in there. Get this all nice and powdery again because some of it's stuck together a little bit goodness that's cold ah all right two more rounds no round in the chamber let's drop it in the snow get it in there deep get it covered up man that's cold <laughs> It's been a few minutes, let's dig it out. Hmm, well, that didn't do a whole lot. <laughs> I'm sure it'll work. Let's see. Oh yeah, snow didn't do much to it. I'll pile all this snow up kind of in one spot. All right, got our two rounds in. Got around chambered. I'm gonna stick this down in the snow. All right, doing this as safe as I possibly can. I'm actually just putting some snow on the gun. And we'll see how it does. Oh! <laughs> Still functions just fine. You know what? I'm not satisfied. We put two more rounds in this. Chamber it. 
and let's put some snow actually in the gun a little bit. Let's dig it down in there. Goodness. <laughs> oh. Got some sludge. All right. Next test. Okay. <laughs> Let's get a little more serious. How about some mud? My hand is still so cold. Okay. Get the water out of her mag. Load up two more rounds. No round in the firearm. This is some nasty stuff. Oh, goodness. Here we go. Oh, goodness. <laughs> all right. Put some mud all over it. Oh. Oh, gosh. It's so wrong. It's so wrong. Oh, man. Why? Oh, look at that. That's still shiny. Gonna make sure there's no barrel obstructions or anything like that. We definitely don't want anything in that barrel when this goes off. Oh, we got a misfeed. Let's see if we can see if we can fix that. That is really bad in there. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can shake some of that mud out of there. Put our round back in. That is not looking good. See all down there, there's mud all in this thing. There we go. We got the mag in. It's not looking good. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I think the mag is what's causing the problems right now. And a little bit too much mud in the bag, so I'm gonna wash it off in some water real quick. So now let's see if we can get it to work. All right, the gun is still disgusting. Still not getting it to chamber. Let's see if we can get some of that mud out of there. That looks pretty good. Okay, I got a new mag. Let's see if we can get it to work. Ah, it was a bad mag, I think. Let's see, wait. All right, safety's off. Got a click. Doesn't look like we loaded the next round. All right. We didn't lock back our slide. We'll rinse it off one more time. It's pretty clean in there now. Three rounds in the new mag. We got her working again. That's great. Okay, so the mud really gummed this thing up. It was not working very well with mud in it. Get this out of here. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Got us some sand. Go ahead and wipe this thing off. That way we don't have sand sticking to it. 
want it to be fairly dry. Some mud all through here. Oh, that's bad. Dump a little bit of that in there. Throw our mag in there. Now let's drop it. Okay, it's good and covered. Let's see if it'll function. I can already tell you that, that does not feel good. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. Oh, it chambered it. Let's see. Ah. Trigger stuck, and then we had a jam. You just got jammed. <laughs> but a lot of guns don't work very well in the sand. Ooh, that mag stuck in there too. Oh, it sounds so awful. There's sand down in the mag well. Got it to work without rinsing it off. That trigger was a little sticky though. Pretty sure we got some sand in there. So now I'm gonna rinse it off with some water, see if we can get it to function normally. All right. So this mag's not wanting to work now either. So luckily, I brought a third mag. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it to function normally with this nice clean mag. And now that we've rinsed the gun in water. I think we're all right. Let's find out. Feels good. Let's see. Mmm. Man. All right. Three more rounds. Let's see. Man. We're so close. All right, about five rounds. I'm just gonna go fast. Well, that's what it was. I was shooting too slow. Slide lock back didn't work, but the gun is functioning again, so that's good. I feel so bad for doing this to this Desert Eagle. Well, that's gonna be it for today's video. I had a lot of fun torture testing the Desert Eagle. I'm gonna do some more tests with it, and if there's anything you wanna see, leave your answers in the comment section down below. Don't forget to check out Kentucky Ballistics Clothing and check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.